Grab your leader hosen, grab a pretzel, grab your schnitzel, let's get to it. So today, my friends, we are looking at Oktoberfest beers. Now, Oktoberfest beer is a Marzen style, and Marzen means March. Now, the beer is traditionally brewed in March and then is left to age over the summer so that it's ready for the harvest season. Uh, and that harvest season, of course, comes around September and October, hence Oktoberfest. The beer is traditionally served in a fluted glass. I'm not going to do that today. You'll see the big mugs, too. I'm not doing that either. So what we're really going to be doing is looking at the beer from a number of different angles. We're going to look at uh, the the color, the, the smell, the flavor, and the usual run of the gamut. We're going to do that with nine different beers. What we're going to be looking for is kind of the traditional Marzen style. So we're really going to see just how good it is and kind of see if it's close to the Marzen style. It's okay if it's not. If it's a good beer, it's a good beer. That's all we care about, right? What we're kind of hoping for is this light color in the orange category. So orange, maybe just a little lighter than that. Some of these might actually get really pale, which is kind of interesting. We'll also get some notes of like some bread crust, some breadiness, and some, a little bit of um, like a biscuity flavor. That's a term we use a lot, and it should have a nice light flavor. Now, we want that because, well, we might be having two or three of them over the course of an Oktoberfest celebration. So, with that, let's get started. So, here we have... Mobtoberfest. Now this is from Mobcraft Brewing out of Milwaukee. Uh, it's a really interesting brewery because they crowdsource a lot of it. You can go and you can vote for what you want them to make next and it's they'll give you the recipes which is really pretty cool. Let's just try this thing out. So, okay, crack that and open. Get a good glass going. Boy, I was thinking it was going to pour light, but I'm looking at this orange color that you can see down in the bottom of the screen just coming through. I'm going to give it an easy pour. If it gets too foamy, it gets too tough to drink. Now that is really effervescent. Uh, the, the, these kind of beers like to be uh, nice and cold, and this one definitely is. Um, boy, you can kind of, if you hold it up to the light, you can kind of see the, the orange color of it. That's a nice one. It's a little lighter than some that I've seen. And uh, let's stick a nose in it. Oh yeah, so immediately you get some of the, the, that breadiness to it. Uh, you can tell that this, this yeasty back end to it that Marzen's have is just right there. The, it's that carameliness that's, that's sitting in there. And I'm not getting much of a hoppy, fli uh, hoppy scent out of it. So uh, the head kind of vanished, you can see it's just kind of gone. That's okay. Let's give it a taste. Ooh, so lots of body. Um, that that uh, bready bis that uh, bread crust biscuitiness is forward on it. I'm getting little bits of caramel coming through. Ooh, yeah. As I'm sitting here and I'm getting the retro nasal olfaction going on, I can really get the carameliness of that. That is exactly what I would expect out of a good Oktoberfest beer. It's a, that's a really good example of a fine Marzen beer. So, um, I would give this I would give this four mugs out of five, uh, only because I really kind of don't want to go to five. So kind of with the flashing five, four of the flashing five mugs. Pretty good. That is Mobtoberfest from Mobcraft Brewing. Mm. Not bad at all. Okay, now we have Shiners. Uh, Oktoberfest. They're, it's their Marzen style. Now, Shiner is out of Shiner, Texas. They've been brewing this since the mid-90s, this particular uh, Marzen. 
um, about 1996, if I remember correctly. And um, they call it a full Marzen. Not sure what that means. And uh, honestly, I've never had this before, so let's give it a shot. So much, we, we've been doing cans lately on uh, Driftless Drinks, but uh, it's nice to crack a bottle now and again. Okay. Ooh, lots of good carbon dioxide rolling out of that little vapor. Pours golden and goes orange in the glass. That's a good sign. And yeah, if you kind of check that out, that is so orange. Lights are going red through it. That is a beautiful, beautiful color. Uh, not quite as ambery as some of the other ones. All right, and a nice head on it. Let's give it a smell. Okay, so there's a there's a higher note to that, almost as if I can get the hops. Now, Marzen should have a hoppy back end. It should be a balanced bitterness that's going along with all that richness. This one's right in the nose. That's kind of a, sometimes it's a tip off of a one that I'm not going to enjoy. Uh, usually if it's got a nice caramely nose to it, a little bread crusty kind of thing, then I'm a little more into it. But this, this has got that lighter, that lighter high note to it. So I wonder how bitter it's going to be. And there's only one way to find out. Wow. So I'm, I'm not getting the major breadiness of it. Uh, what I'm getting is almost a, a light shortbread cookie. And I think a lot of times when people say biscuit, that's kind of what they mean, um, at least in the US. But that's, it's super light. There's a little tang to it. I can get the hoppy uh, bitterness to it, but not much. So it's still really smooth. It's beautifully balanced. Um, Going back into it, yeah, the nose has kind of mellowed out a little bit for me now that I've had some in my mouth. Another, another taste here. Ooh, the mouthfeel on that is really delightful. This one is, I could I can sit down and just kind of enjoy this one without having to uh, think about a party or anything. But then again, if you happen to have pretzels and mustard and More mugs of fine beer. I'm in. Okay, number three. I'm gonna have to enjoy that off camera. Yeah, so that's Shiner. Um, Shiner's Oktoberfest from Shiner Brewery in uh, Shiner, Texas. Uh, I'm gonna have to give that four Wiener Brats. Um, yeah, three and a half, four Wiener Brats easily. And uh, wow, I'm delightfully surprised. Uh, I'm gonna recommend that one. Time for another one. Here we have Friday Night Lights Oktoberfest from Hillsboro Brewing Company. Uh, this is out of Hillsboro, Wisconsin, not all that far away from here. And um, really, if you look this up on their website, it's kind of interesting because what they've got is only on their tasting menu. Um, it's hard to find a lot of information on this one. So, let's crack it. Oh, come on, baby. There we go. Oh, sometimes the sound is so nice. All right, I'm going to pop this open. Oh. You know, it's almost like a magic trick. They do the gold. You pour gold, and it comes out orange. So, ooh, so this one's got a really nice head on it, and it's frothy. You know, sometimes the heads on these beers um, lag a little bit, and this one is outstanding. You can see it just, it doesn't really lace, but it just kind of wobbles with it. There's not a lot to that, honestly, but it's kind of fun to do, and it does kind of give you an idea if it's going to be oily or not. With Marzins, they almost never are, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, you can see the color here. The color is this beautiful, beautiful orange. Um, pretty standard for, for a Mars, and that's about what I'd want. I'll uh, stick a nose in it. Okay, that, all I'm getting right there is kind of the, uh, 
just kind of the vapor from, from the uh, carbonation. It's partly because it's such a big head. There's a little bit of that um, shortbread note coming through and a bit of kind of that orangey, uh, the bitter orange smell. Uh, that's not a flavor that ever comes through on the palate, but you know, in the first nose, it, it's it's there pretty much for a lot of Marzins. Um, head's gone down enough, I think we can, uh, we can give it a shot. Ooh, so really smooth. Um, there's a bit of a an overtang to it, and um, by that I mean, if you've ever had, if you've ever had one of those wax bottles uh, candies where you nip off the top and you suck out the thing, and you, you get that kind of mouthfeel that's just a little bit waxy there. Uh, sometimes Marzins will do that. This one definitely does. It's not off-putting, but it's. Not really what I'm looking for out of a Marzen. It's a well done beer. Um, I don't know that this one's cutting it for me. I think I'm gonna give it maybe, I think I'm only gonna give it three Rampant Lions out of five. I think that's about it. Um, doesn't mean I'm not gonna enjoy it. And uh, I really appreciate the brewery and uh, what they put out. So that is Friday Night Lights uh, Oktoberfest from Hillsborough Brewing Company. We'll definitely be covering some of their beers in the future. They do a wonderful job. Some of their staples are outstanding. Um, this one I don't think quite makes it for me, at least for a Marzen, um, but I uh, do appreciate all they do. Onward. Okay, now we have a uh, beer from one of my uh, favorite local breweries. Um, I'm not picking favorites, but if I was, this is one of them. This is uh, Lederhosen Lager uh, from Pearl Street Brewing. We love these people at Driftless Drinks. We just always have. But this is going to be a fair review. We don't review ver beers very often with this Oktoberfest thing, making an exception. So we'll see how they how they uh, fare. It is a, as it says on the can, a Marzen style Oktoberfest lager. Let's crack it open. All right. Pouring that beautiful golden color that just turns orange in the glass. There we go. And you can see it is exactly the right color for a Mars in that beautiful, beautiful orange. The head is exactly like I'd, I'd want. It's that smooth little low head on it. Um, that's what I want because, you know, if you're going to be drinking at an Oktoberfest celebration, and if you're doing the one in La Crosse, you are doing it right. Um, you want it, you want the head to come down pretty, pretty soon after they hand it to you. You don't want to be sitting there waiting for foam to get done. So, uh, let's give it a smell. Ooh, so... That's the smell I want. That is the biscuity shortbread kind of thing. I'm not going to harp on that too much. But way in the back, there's that touch of hops. I can tell that this is, this from an odor standpoint, this thing is really balanced. This one so far, not so bad. Let's give it a, let's give it a taste. Ooh. Okay. The richness there. Um, exactly what it, it's almost just hinting at it. It's not quite that solid heaviness. Um, some other of the of the Marzins that we've tried have. Now, I'm going to be honest. I tried this a, a few years ago. This is the first time I've had it in a couple, and um, I wasn't a big fan. However, this is hitting all the high notes. It's it's rich. It's full. It's balanced without being heavy, and that is a big trick. And that is exactly what we want out of a Marzen. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get any of the hops out of it. Ooh. So now I'm getting this smooth little sweetness that's coming in there. Um, and it's that sweet that's hitting in the back of the tongue. Um, so it isn't, it isn't a candy kind of sweetness, but a really kind of, I'm going to go back to a kind of a shortbread cookie, but maybe just a little extra sugar. Yeah, I'm digging this. Wow, I'm, I shouldn't be impressed, but I am. Yeah, so I'm going to give this a full, I'm going to give this five 
leather men's shorts. Men's leather shorts. Short leather, no. I'm gonna give it five liter hosen um, because this is this is the kind of thing I want to drink, and I'm not picking favorites. This is this is a very very good beer. Hmm. Delightfully delightfully surprised with how well that's come along. Um, that again is uh, Pearl Street Brewery's uh, Marsden style Oktoberfest Lager, the liter hosen Lager. Me likey. Now we have Potosi Brewings offering to the Marzen style. Uh, this is their Oktoberfest. Um, Potosi is an awesome place uh, down in uh, southern Wisconsin. Uh, definitely worth the trip. Uh, the brewery is wonderful. They've got a great museum there. We'll cover them in depth some other time. Right now we're only interested in what their Oktoberfest tastes like. So first things first, open the wonderful bottle. Oh, nice. Okay. Give it the good pour. Oh, see, this one's pouring. Pouring out a little orangier than most. Maybe that's uh, an illusion from the nice orange packaging. I really, I really like the design of this one. The color on this is really quite nice. Pretty standard. Well, it looks looks like we'd expect. The head you can see is nice and frothy, but not too big. Um, let's stick a nose in it. So some wonderful, wonderful um, caramely uh, notes right away, but there's also this, this kind of astringency that's coming off of it. I wonder if that's the hops or if that's just the carbonation coming at me. And you can see that's just got some beautiful <laughs> lacing going on. Yeah, I'm getting mesmerized. Um, all we can do is taste it. I've really made sure that the bottle is nice and chilled. That really helps out, as it does with a lot of these Marzen styles, I think. Um, boy, there's a... The carameliness is only a back note. I'm getting more of a breadiness, but that astringency, there's, there's hops in this um, that's supposed to bring up a Marzen style, and I'm actually getting the hops out of this, which I don't normally. Yeah, so it's it's almost, there's a neutrality to it that um, I wasn't expecting. It's very good, uh, but I don't know that I would say that this is a robust Marzen. So I think if you're looking for something on the lighter side, um, this is a good option. Uh, not too heavy. I could drink a, eh, a couple of these uh, with, with a good meal. Um, definitely in the mood for some cheese now, some uh, other Oktoberfest appetizers as it were. Um, that is Potosi's Oktoberfest. I'm going to give this, looking at the packaging, I'm going to give this uh, three and a half suggested acorn, suggestive acorns. Not bad, pretty light, um, definitely in style, and uh, they know what they're doing at Potosi. I don't know if this is my favorite, but not a bad one this year, and uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of it. Onward. Next up is Logger Town. This is from Half Acre Brewing Company out of Chicago. Uh, they make a lot of stuff that I really like. Uh, last year, this was actually my favorite Oktoberfest. I noticed that there's a big difference in how the Oktoberfests go from year to year. So if you try one that's kind of a little off, that isn't quite meeting your needs, try it again next year, especially if it's from a brewery you like. Uh, Half Acre makes some really great stuff. They're daisy cutters, um, a really good one. Um, the weird thing about this, however, is that while I really enjoy the packaging, which is this medieval kind of uh, renaissance kind of tapestry thing, which I, I really appreciate, <laughs> uh, they spell Oktoberfest with a C. That's a faux pas in the area I live, but we're gonna forgive them and open the can. By the way, this is a nice pipe can. Um, I appreciate that too. So let's give it a nice pour. I'm gonna try not to be too rough with this. Normally I'd give it a little bit of rougher pour. I don't wanna do that here because I don't want the head to interfere with the nose. Otherwise we'll be here for a while. That can happen with a larger can. You can end up with a 
big head if you're not careful with it. So you can see that that poured off rather beautifully. Uh, we've got a really nice color going on. So, all right, stick a nose in it. Hmm. I'm not getting the. I'm not getting any bitter notes. I'm not getting a lot of anything, and there's not much of a head going on here, so the odor isn't coming through. The IBUs on this are unknown. We don't. I, I looked it up. I couldn't figure out what the IBUs are. Um, the alcohol content, though, is a 5.7%. Um, yeah, that's in range. So for uh, Marzen. All right. Well, just gotta taste it, I guess. Oh. So. Um, smooth. That's the first thing I want to say about this is that there's this beautiful smoothness and that smoothness with Marzen's can be heavy. This isn't. There's a bit of an orange peel in there, like that bit, that slight bitterness of an orange peel. Now I'm sure that's the hops that's coming through and doing that. Uh, the carameliness isn't there. Um, not, not forward anyway. I don't know. It's a little different. It's uh, of all the Marzins that that we had on this uh, particular program. This one is quite unique. Hmm. Yeah, that that shortbread cookie thing isn't there. It's kind of like I'm just getting this nice little light multi experience with a little bit of that orangey bitterness on it. I'm intrigued. Okay, I'm gonna sit with this one for a little bit. This was the, uh, <laughs> this is Loggertown Oktoberfest with a C uh, from Half Acre Brewing out of Chicago. I'm going to give this a questionable four boars out of five, uh, four weird medieval boars out of five. Um, I can't go five on it because I don't know that it's a nice Oktoberfest, but it's a nice beer and I enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy the rest of it now. Now we've got Oktoberfest from Hinterland Brewing. Hinterland is out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. They do some marvelous stuff. I had their Oktoberfest a couple of years ago and wasn't impressed. However, they really know what they're doing when they're making beer. So, got to try it. Well, I got to try it just about every year. So, we'll uh, give this a shot. Well, the pouring stream is just a little darker than some of the others, but oh, it's coming off more of a golden color. Yeah, that's that's not nearly as orange as one might expect. Uh, you can kind of see through. You see that that redness coming through isn't as red. It's a little more a little more orangey. Uh, stick a nose in it. So immediately, I'm getting the nice caramely, malty kind of stuff going on. Not nearly as uh, not nearly as caramely as I would want. Almost more lagerish. Um, it's more like a, just a straight kind of straight lager. So um, yeah, not too many not too many characteristic notes there. Let's taste it. So smooth. Very light on the butter crust, on the uh, bread crust kind of thing. If I was just handed this, I would think somebody just handed me a regular lager. I would not come back and say this is a, uh, that this was a Marzen uh, or an Oktoberfest. I'm, hmm, it's a good beer. It's very solid. It's well balanced. The hoppiness is, is just kind of lingering in there and it's kind of marrying well with the, uh, with the maltiness. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think... I think I'm only at three out of five deer heads on this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to say very good beer, uh, very nice, but in the Oktoberfest tradition, maybe not as much, but still a solid beer. That is Oktoberfest from Hinterland Brewing on our Green Bay. Um, I like it. I don't know if it's a Marzen. Onward. Here we have 
Oktoberfest from Odell's Brewing Company. Uh, this is their Marzen style lager. Um, they're from Fort Collins, Colorado. Uh, confession time, I've had a number of these this year. I kind of go to Odell's when I'm looking for something that the wife and I are really going to agree on. This is not going to be unfamiliar. Let's crack it open. And out of the can we go. And one of the things I noticed about this is the, the color on this has been this nice orange, but it's been a light orange. Nothing too deep, nothing too heavy. Yeah, there we go. And you can kind of see how that just kind of rolls through that beautiful orange color. You can, it gets a nice head on it. Um, for some reason, this has been really good this year. I'm not saying that it hasn't been good in the past years. It has. But I've really enjoyed it this year, so let's stick a nose in it. Oh, see, and immediately you get the, those nose. It's this kind of caramely, orangey thing coming up with just a hint of bitterness, kind of like an orange peel. But it's not orangey. There's the caramel underlay to the whole thing that just brings it into that malty region instead of the fruity one. Well, let's, let's taste it. Yo, oh, I'm kidding. Um, so the thing about this is it gets, it's really smooth, um, but also very forward in the flavor. Very prominent with the hoppy orangeiness. It's kind of like a, a, an orange cookie, like an oatmeal cookie that your grandmother put just a little bit of orange peel into. Um, I'm getting those kind of notes out of it. It's a little heavy for what you'd want to drink for you know a long evening, but boy, if you're pairing this with food, some bratwurst, some pretzels, yeah, this is going to go really well. Uh, I'm going in again. Yeah. See, this is, there's almost a pumpkininess to this. Um, the pumpkin beers are out already. Um, going to hit those up soon. Uh, this one is really kind of edging toward that. So it's a good, good fall beer. Um, so that is Oktoberfest. Marzen style lager from Odell's out of Fort Collins, Colorado. By the way, this comes in at 19 IBUs. The bitterness just isn't there, but that's what they call it. And it is a 6.1%, so uh, drinker beware. I'm going to give this four hop leaves out of five. Ah, I'm going to give it the full five hop leaves. I'm feeling generous. It's a good, solid Marzen. Now we have... Fest beer from the Fair State Brewing Cooperative. These guys are out of Minneapolis, St. Paul, the Twin Cities. Um, this is an interesting beer for a couple of reasons. One, it, they call it a fest beer. They avoid the Oktoberfest kerfuffle from the Munich breweries. I don't know why. But um, the other thing that's cool about this is they use a process called decoction, which is a tea-like process where they're, they're kind of letting it steep for a little bit. They let the mash steep for a little bit. And that gives them some uh, extra benefit, apparently. So it pulls some of the flavoring out of the mash that might not otherwise come out. And I think they only do that to part of the mash. Uh, it's really interesting if you read up on it on their website. Uh, I'll make sure that there's, there's a link down below. Let's crack it open. Oh, there we go. You'll notice it's a nice 16-ounce uh, can. I really appreciate that. So here we go. Oh. Don't spill it on the keyboard. Okay. See, it's pouring out very light. Now, I've noticed that some of the breweries, when they do a Fest beer, and they call it a Fest beer instead of a Marzen, they are really saying that this is going to be lighter than the Marzen. So we won't really get an orange color out of this. And that is exactly the case. We get, I don't know how well you can perceive this, but it is a very light yellow color compared to um, other Marzins. Um, head's really nice. It's got a really good head on it, nice and pillowy. Um, let's stick a nose in it. Yeah, so all I'm getting, all I'm getting is kind of the, uh, the, <laughs> the, the vapors from the head. So I'm gonna kind of lower it down a little bit, so. Okay, now I'm getting a little bit of the biscuity notes. A little bit of that short bready that I hope would be there for the malt. And just a little bit of that hoppy, that hoppy top end, which I should have. Um, a good Marzen, I think, is going to have that little hop note 
in the back end if you're really looking for it, but won't be prevalent. So it won't be like an IPA. Um, all we can do is taste it. Mmm. Very, very, very low key, very even keel, but substantive. Substantive? Substantive. I have no idea. There's some substance there. Um, it, there, it, it is really, really, uh, really present. Um, but then disappears. I, there's almost a dryness in the back end. Like the, the aftertaste is nearly gone. I'm gonna go in again. Yeah. Definitely short ready, but not much. Um, not heavy, super light. Um, as far as the, uh, as far as the Oktoberfest I've had this year, and pretty much the Oktoberfest I've ever had, this is super light. Um, I see why they want to call it a fest beer instead of an Oktoberfest. Just because it hints that it's going to be lighter, and it is. If I'm going to do a liter of beer, this would be a good one to have. So that is fest beer from Fair State Brewing. I would give this four uh, pretzels out of five. Um, and the little pretzels, I don't know if you can see these little pretzels. Um, I'm going to give it four out of five little pretzels. Uh, I like it. I'm going to continue to drink it, and I'm really going to enjoy it. Um, but I don't know that it's a margin. But again, that's not what they said it was. So there it is. Fest beer from Fair State Brewing Cooperative. So there you have it. Nine good Oktoberfest beers. Um, I'm not going to say which one is my favorite. Um, I like them all for different reasons. And I will say that there's a lot of Oktoberfests out there. Uh, this doesn't begin to cover the amount that I've seen. I would be drinking for a very long time if I tried to cover all of them. Um, let us know what your favorites are down in the comments. Uh, we'll kind of jack you some information back and forth. And uh, don't forget that you can always catch us at Driftless Drinks Podcast. That's www.driftlessdrinks.com. And uh, hey, maybe if you let us know your favorite beers, we'll cover it in a future episode, either on this video channel or in the podcast. Till then, drink good beers. Now we have a Marzen style Oktoberfest. Uh, okay, they're all Marzen. No, we're gonna try it again.